We get ready for game two of the Eastern Conference Final. I think the Rangers will be ready for the Florida pace and strength in this game. I think that that kind of caught them off guard in game one. And again, the moment, although this is a bit more of a veteran team, the moment did seem to get to them a little bit. But they, they seemed a little bit overwhelmed by how the Florida Panthers played. And I do think that they settled in a little bit, but the turnovers ended up costing them. I think they're going to be a little bit more adept and a little bit more prepared for what Florida can throw at them in this game. And again, I was on 960 earlier today, and uh, Patty Duma asked me about the potential for Rempe to come back in the lineup just to provide a little bit of spark that the Rangers seem to be missing in Game 1. A spark that I think was stolen by the Panthers in that game. I thought they came out and kind of Uno reversed them and were able to take it that way. Um, I do think that would be overreacting a little bit, and I think it would be playing into the Panthers' hands. Although, we have seen out in Calgary, and we haven't seen it a ton with Florida, but you, you see the Blasty jersey behind me if you're watching on YouTube right now. Um, you can get Kachuk out of his mind in the playoffs a little bit. And if Rempe is able to do that, then it does turn into advantage New York. But we've also seen Rempe isn't the most effective hockey player out there. And this Florida team is rather deep and their depth guys came to play in game one. So you, you can't afford to just lose minutes just for the vibes, man. So we will see how, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Also from a Rangers standpoint, I am expecting Shesterkin will probably be better in this game. Again, he wasn't the reason they lost. I just think he'll be better. Like, he he played a very good hockey game, but the two goals are on him. Um, he just whiffed on the Matthew Kachuk one, and then a bad turnover uh, leads to Verhage banking it in off of Lafreniere. He needs to be better in this game. I do think he will be better in this game. And for the Rangers offensively, they need to figure out the Florida Panthers... D zone coverage. They clogged things up so well in game one. The Rangers really couldn't establish a whole lot in the five on five or even on the penalty kill for, or, or on the power play, sorry, for that matter. Uh, Florida's defensive game plan was exquisite. Um, Bobrovsky was good in game one, but you saw he was getting a little all over the place. I would expect the Rangers will be able to cause a little bit more chaos for him, and maybe that is where Rempe comes in. Um, but I would expect a little bit more chaos in front of Bobrovsky here in game two and maybe causing a few more problems for him and trying to open things up that way. But, like, for Florida, like, we talked about, like, game plan-wise, what the Rangers need to do. That's because Florida played damn near a perfect hockey game. So just control V, or control C, control V, and move this one into to game two, because I, I thought they were tremendous in this one. That This should be a really, really fun game tonight.